friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial of our software testing bootcamp where we're talking about the fundamental concepts of software testing. And uh, we are looking forward to continue with the next segment, which is 4.4 experience based test techniques. And uh, as a part of this particular tutorial, we'll be giving you an introduction to what exactly these techniques are, on how best this can be applied in the industry and what is the significance of having these techniques as a part of our testing world. All right, let's get started. Today we'll be talking about what's the worth of having experienced test techniques in our world of test executions or designing our test accordingly. Uh, the number one thing here is so far we have understood about various formal ways of uh, designing our test cases, reducing our test cases to make sure that we don't land up creating exhaustive number of test cases which may not be helpful at some point of time and uh, sometimes you don't even have enough uh, you know time within the project to perform all necessary executions so generally we answer the question of how much testing would be enough and uh, based on that we define what minimum number of test cases would be uh, significant enough to get the desired coverage and at the same time how best we can execute within the given limited time what we have on top of it if there are scenarios where we cannot apply formal test techniques like equivalence partition, boundary value analysis, or even if you talk about uh, the white box testing techniques where you are not a developer, you do not have the you know, programming understanding, then is there an alternative which you can make use of to test a particular system? Yes, and that's the answer what we have on the screen right now. We call it as experience-based techniques which helps you to perform your testing on the applications where formal techniques are not applicable or uh, cannot be just applied even though you know what is uh, the formal based techniques are. So number one thing here is uh, what is experience based test techniques and here we make use of the person's experience to test the system. There could be possibilities where you might have been testing a particular product for a long time. For example, your past experience does matter. For example, if you are doing a particular action or particular activity for years together, uh, we believe that uh, nobody can do better than you, right? You are the most uh, comfortable person to do that without even probably like following a flow, without even probably taking care of and kind of, you know, exercise or kind of you know practice you you are perfect at that what you're doing now given that when we talk about the word experience it certainly matters in real time as well as in the world of testing that you have been testing this product several times for so many years and you know this product in and out now for an example for an instance if i'm working in an organization where we are making phones and i've been working with this organization for around 15 years and i know this phone how it has evolved what has been the modifications step by step every release and what kind of troubles we had initially when we built this and today what are the problems which are known to us but probably my customers doesn't even know about it. So when it comes to testing the new release of the same phone, I would keep everything in my mind that what are the critical points of this phone, where do we generally find challenges and what kind of uh, criticality we need to make sure that we have tested it and was that known issues have been resolved in the new release or not, right? And that's where I don't need test cases to be written because my experience matters, right? If I've been using a phone, even if you're a consumer, you don't really write test cases, right? For example, if you're using washing machine, refrigerators, buying a cell phone from the shop, or buying any other appliances or product which you have been using for years, do you write any test cases? to test that particular system before buying it? No, you just use your experience. Probably you make use of the camera, take a selfie, play some games, or check out the, uh, you know, the memory utilization or the hardware and software configuration because you know where to check what, right? So experience of the individual can eliminate my heavy work of writing test cases. And also to say you here that writing test cases needs formal requirements. And what if the requirements are very high level and doesn't even have the details what you're looking forward to and uh, that is not even applicable because you don't have the details, right? So even if you know that 
what does equivalence partition, what does boundary value analysis mean and how to apply them, but you don't have the details for it, or the customer has not given you a formal set of details on the requirement, you are limited with experience-based testing, right? So few things what we observed in this particular discussion is that experience-based techniques makes use of your experience as the basis to apply this particular testing technique. Second, you know the past, you have the past experience of testing similar product for years together. Now, the second thing what we can talk about here is that, hey, for an example, if I've been testing a banking application for last 10 years, and today I join an automotive industry, and I've been asked to test automobile, does that mean I am applying experience-based testing? No, not at all. You are a fresher to the automotive industry, and your experience does not matter here. So you cannot just say that if I jump from one organization to another organization or one domain to another domain or one industry to another industry, which is different from each other, does that make my experience-based testing still applies? Answer is no, not at all. The past experience here certainly means that the experience of testing the same product for years together, right? At the same time, you're just not aware of the product. You also know what kind of typical defects you generally get when you test such products, right? Which is another crucial parameter to concentrate your testing areas. That what you need to make sure that you have tested, what you can excuse given that generally it functions well, we don't go wrong here, but you are aware of the areas where technically or generally you find a lot of defects, right? So you will be concentrating more of your testing there and it will make sure that you have all that understanding what you need, right? And the product will also be able to be kind of defining quality within it. On the other hand, if I talk about the domain expertise, right? Though you might have been testing the product for a long duration, but how much do you know about the domain, right? It sometimes does happen that, for example, I have a fresher who is joining a newcomer to the you know, organization as a tester, and uh, certainly I cannot say that this person is a good experienced tester because he or she doesn't have any kind of experience of testing that product. But for an instance, if I say that this person has been well trained on the domain, he knows in and out about what exactly the product is, how does it function, where it can fail, what kind of uh, user interaction does it have, how exactly users are intended to use this product. That's where, again, I can say to a certain extent that this person could be applying experience-based testing because it's just not limited to past experience and typical uh, defects knowledge, but you can also say that the domain knowledge would be a concatenation to that of the experience and the typical defects knowledge to make you more comfortable and confident to make sure that what you're testing is adding value to the quality of the product. Right. So putting it all, all together, experience based test techniques makes use of your experience, your domain, domain knowledge about the product and certainly the typical defects knowledge put together to test a system. And here you try to reduce your effort on writing test cases. Moreover, you even if you want, even if you have the knowledge of the test cases, you cannot write it because there are no requirements. Until unless you have the requirements, you can draft those test cases, you can write the steps, you can write the expected result. What if the requirements are very high level, right? It's just a concept that, hey, we are coming up with debit card, but what is debit card, right? You do just know that it will be a card which has a magnetic strip and you just swipe in and you get some transaction happening. So you don't have any detail about it, right? So a lot of product-based companies do not use formal test techniques to test their system. They use experience-based. And the question is, can I really have a, a complete project tested with just experience-based technique? No. Though we understand that this could be one of the alternative to do it, but we still strongly recommend that go with formal techniques wherever, however possible. And where you think formal testing is a limitation, you have an alternative to make use of, right? So we do not suggest that the whole project should be tested with experience-based techniques because that goes completely documentless. And we don't have any accountability. We do not have any kind of coverage measurements. We do not have any kind of traceability 
right? That what you have been testing and how much you have tested, how confident we are. There are no numbers, there are no matrices which can justify that what the testing team has done so far in order to make sure that the product is a quality one, right? So it certainly becomes a challenge if you try to say that, can I test the whole product using experience-based testing? And it is not something which we recommend, right? So only the areas where you think uh, the requirement-based uh, uh, requirements are missing or you have time pressure or your team is not formally trained on formal techniques, these are the only classes where we recommend you to go with informal techniques like experience-based testing. So the point here is that we still insist you to use the formal way of testing so that you can have all your matrices and reports which justifies what the testing team has done in order to achieve a desired quality. But if in case you lack that information, what you need to do formal testing, you can use an alternative called as your exploratory or experience-based testing, which would help you to put all your effort, right? So we will be learning a few techniques under this category and helping you to understand that how experience-based testing is different from other formal techniques, right? So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.